right, it's time for my take tonight. And it is about that famous breakfast that now graces our calendar every year. So last week we had the so-called national prayer breakfast. Don't stone me just yet when I say so-called. I will explain. Now, it's organized by our legislators ostensibly to bring the country together under the theme of uh, unity and the national anthem. This event has been going on for 15 years now. Whether it is a real breakfast is not in doubt, but that it has been called a prayer session is partly what I have a problem with and why it is called national. You see, for people to sit down at a high-end hotel and have breakfast, then claim to be praying for the rest of us when they're not even sure that we've had something to eat ourselves is a joke. This joke goes even further when you think about the fact that many of these prayer champions are the same men and women who just a day before are hurling insults at each other and who picked up right where they left off the next day. The same politicians that have no problem using the F word on television. The same ones who are alleged to be mortgaging away the lives of Kenyans. These, ladies and gentlemen, are the same ones who are praying for you, dear Kenyan. Did any of them come to you, ask you what your prayer requests are? It reminds one of those characters the good book calls the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Take a look at the setting, for instance. How alienating can it be? It's an exclusive event organized and funded by Parliament, which are actually our funds, held at a hotel many of us only see on television. Dignitaries from abroad are invited to attend the event, while ordinary Kenyans, who are the ones supposedly being prayed for, are kept at bay. Did you know what the theme of the day was prior to the event? Were you invited? If it is truly national as they say it is, why not have this event at Uhuru Park, for instance, Afraha Stadium, Tononoka Grounds, or even Buhongu Stadium, where you can attend. If it's truly a national event, should it not bring our lives to a halt for a moment, to pray and reflect? Everything should cease to matter, regardless of tribe, political persuasion. How many of you stopped what you were doing to actually pray with your MPs? I'm no prophet, but I imagine God must turn his head away every time he sees this event on his calendar. The organizers would do well if they, one, obeyed the law, two, did what was right, and three, ensured that no one stole our money and just maybe called us to pray, all of us, wherever we choose to do it. But to treat us to this annual spectacle in the name of national prayer, is to make a joke of a very serious matter indeed. And that tonight is my take. Thank you for watching the show tonight and every night. We want to take a break. Oh, we're not taking a break. Yeah, we want to take the final break.